Welcome to another Burn Tables video and what I was going to do this time was a variation on the lightning bolt high voltage sign that we cut out and actually this time we'll just engrave it. I'll show you how easy it is to do that. Uh, this will require you to set layers. So let's go ahead and open the lightning bolt to vectorize it and again you're going to move over uh, to what looks good. Sometimes a little trial and error is necessary. Okay, I'll OK that. <clears throat> and always when we're vectorizing we have to do the regions and the join, so more modify join, select it again, more modify regions, select it again, and put everything for right now on the default layer. Okay. And then the last thing we can do is size it. So go to scale, input, zero, zero, and the object fit. We'll do it. Um, let's do that at eight. And eight. Okay. And then we have to do view, zoom all so we can see it. Make it a little smaller. Insert our text. again, some more modify join and more modify regions. Layer, default layer, and lastly size it. Let's do this at six inches. Select that and move it up a bit. And then we're going to move the um, lightning bolt to Okay, lastly we're going to explode the text. Oh, I've got it very close, so it's going to be... There we go, great. Explode it. And now what I want to do is I want to assign the layers. So I'm going to come over to my layer manager and I'm going to add a layer because we already have a default layer which everything's on now. So I'm going to add engraver and OK that. And then I'm going to select what I want to be on the engraver. Okay, so you select that and change the layer, select engraver, so the verbiage is on engraver and then you can select the lightning bolt, change layer again, put that on the engraver and OK it. Okay, um, one last time, I want to double check that this is on the default. Okay and now you can export it. And I'm going to save it to that one. And go to my sheet cam. And I'm going to select my tools. First one I have is uh, the actual plasma for cutting. And I'm going to change this to 150. and everything else is good. I'm going to OK that. Set up my engraver and 50 inches per minute. That looks good too. I'll save that. I'm going to import my file and that looks all good. OK. Now i got to set up my tools. And you, or excuse me, my operations. And you want to be sure that you do the engraving first so it doesn't cut things out. 
first. So I'm going to do no offset for engraving. I'm going to select the engrave layer and um, drop that back to 50 inches per minute. No lead in, no lead out because it's an engraver and OK it. And it shows me what it's going to engrave. Now I want to set up my torch really quickly, so I'll go to Outside Offset and select the default layer. It's got my torch on there already. Let's move this to 150. Arc in Arc for Lead In, Lead Out. OK, that lights up green. It's good to post, so we'll do that. Save it and then open the machine software. Turn on your torch height control normally, but not for the demos. And go ahead and with the arrow keys and the page up, page down, jog the torch over to the origin left, lower left hand side. Zero your X, your Y, and your Z. Load your G code. And cycle start. And it's going to begin engraving. When it's done engraving, it will cut your sign out for you. Okay. So this is what the engraved version of the sign looks like. And I hope you enjoyed that burn tables demonstration.